go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back here to the BTS Pro Series. Sorry for the delay, but we are finally jumping back into game number four of EG versus TSM in this grand finals. EG hoping to tie it up before, uh, you know, before it's over for them. Neff, Sammy, and even uh, a fourth guest kind of in the background. Sam, you want to tell who, uh, who's here joining you? Yeah, we got Nouns. Got Yamsen here. The character mm -hmm. player for Nouns. Yep, yep. Also Brains behind the operation, if you me. ask me. Yep, yep, yep. Man just knows everything we're about to do or anything that he's going to say. He drafts for us. He mutes everyone else while he's drafting. Yamsen, why don't you break down what we got so far? That's very true. So we have a Rubik ban in the first phase after the last game. TSM clearly thought the Rubik was more important than the Timber saw. It looked like Brad was having a rough one with the Rubik. So I think this game they feel more comfortable playing into the Timber saw now that they've played against it once. Yes, I'm still looking for either a mid or a carry. I assume the TA is the matchup against the Timbersaw. So probably looking for a mid here against Selena. Gonna see what's yeah, TA is also pretty good against Lena though, right? Like Yeah. It could it could just go mid. Mm -hmm. And a TA could go both lanes, but I'm not sure what they have left to pick against this Timbersaw. So we'll see what ends up happening in the draft. Mm -hmm. The uh, whether they pick the, the Templar Assassin into the Clockwork, I feel like Clockwork does a reasonable good job of shutting down the Templar Assassin, forcing you to go with the Hurricane Pike extra early in order to get away with from him. They don't have an, I guess they have Snapfire Cookie that can get him out of the power cogs. And they can cook him. You can also still blink. You can get hooked and you might yeah. have enough of a fraction to blink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the matchup is pretty neutral. TA is also really good at killing the clock fast. You can also you can do the side blades yeah. on the cog. Yeah, you can side blade off the cog. Very strong in the way then. Mm-hmm. So you can uh, clear him out as he's trying to run away or like tries to jetpack back out afterwards if you decide blades out of the cogs, right? Side blades on the cog do more damage than if you're hitting the actual... Hit here, right. It goes now, right through his armor. Armor reduction works or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I like it. Uh, but Lena's a fairly safe pick uh, for the mid lane themselves. Do you think they'll flex this uh, the Stepler Assassin over into the mid lane? Because they still don't have a safe lane. In fact, they banned out the Ember Spirit. So looks like that's what EG thinks TSM is going to do. Yeah. I mean, I think it could go both. It might just depend on the bands. Like, it might just depend if the bands actually connect. It'll depend mm -hmm. on the bands and yeah. the pick. They still need to show a core on EG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. You sound quite sad right now. Is it because you've been without your computer? Yes. As a matter of fact, during the prestigious BTS Pro Series, my computer did, in fact, blow up in the middle of a game. Uh, I had your brawl. But Sammy had the tank and abandoned against the tank. Yeah, I did take it. <laughs> I did win the series. Did win Please, the series. That's all did. that matters. Okay, yeah, I'm Parker, but then he took you down later, so. Well, yeah. What can you do? Man's Parker's too good. Man. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That'd be a good one. Dyer gets the ban. That'd, That'd be a good safe lane to function with Alina. Yeah. Um, good versus PA. I think it was a TSM strap. Go ahead, Ricky. I was going to say, one of the things we saw earlier, like when we saw the Pudge Core, was that lineup was seriously lacking physical damage, right? But the Lena does yeah. bring that to the table this time, so would have been a. Yeah, quite even Marcy to some extent, right? Like you, yeah. you can mm -hmm. By the way, I haven't had the uh, chance to ask production if they managed to catch Yamson inside the shot. I imagine you are. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, yeah. You make sure to get his good up. side. Yeah, absolutely. All right, good. Bat Rider banned out from EG, so banning those mids that'll play versus Lena and be good at catching her. Another good hero versus Timbersaw too. Yeah, oh. tons of magic damage to be able to get him in the early game. Yeah. TSM have a lot more ways to kill Timbersaw this game. I think CM is great. Snapfire is pretty okay. Nyx is another good one. Mana Burn is one of the better Timbersaw counters in the game. And Carapace as well. So, mm -hmm. a lot better tools to take down this Timbersaw this game. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you agree with Evil Geniuses, though? I mean, you said you were waiting for bands Radiant. to figure out uh, if it was going to be a mid or a save lane I picked up last for TSM. I feel like Lena's decent against. Uh... Actually, it's. Okay, both ways, uh, Lena against Templar Assassin. I think it used to be more Lena favored back when there was that small camp. It was way easier yeah. for Lena to nuke out the wave than go and clear the small camp afterwards, but now uh, I think it's Ten relatively seconds. even. It, it can go bad for both sides, I think. I think it's easier for it to go bad for the Five TA, seconds. but it's pretty neutral, I would say, if mm. it doesn't go like disastrously one way or another. Mm. Well, well, they're at the bottom of the reserve time on uh, TSM. EG still have a good 45 right, seconds right, left right. here, but... No need. No need when enough. you're this good. But I asked for last game, actually. Yeah. Now, yeah, I think the TA should go mid too. Scales of TA. So, do you take like Terrorblade here? 
Air blades. Oh, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's the okay. timber saw, though. It's not good in the timber saw. Yeah. Which, you know, hard rain. You're going to get pressured really early. We're starting in five seconds. With We're the other heroes. They could opt to rerun the Slark if they think that wasn't the problem. Don't do the Slark. Don't do the Slark. Yeah. Oh, they go for another stealth hill. The Bounty Hunter? Is this Safe Lane Bounty? It is. This safe is Lane Bounty. Safe Lane Bounty. Okay. Now, this is stealing from the C drafts, actually, in the BTS Pro Series. I believe it was uh, Geek mm -hmm. Fam versus Army Geniuses. They picked a carry Bounty Hunter against the Timbersaw. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good matchup versus Timbersaw. He's going to take all his HP, take his gold. Bounty just has in, in like ridiculously good base stats too, right? Like it's one of those yeah. things. Where, like Bounty is not a hero that like has any issues trading. It's Very interesting. Because sorry, Ricky, Timber spells rely on actually getting on top of the target. You know, he doesn't really have a setup from them aside from landing them. And Bounty Hunter has a shit ton of move speed, so I think it's really strong for Bounty Hunter. Ten seconds left. Oh, that's true. His base is what three thirty, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Five seconds. Double melee Five lane seconds. into Bounty. That's going to be very <laughs> difficult. All yeah. right, sick. I'm excited. This looks fun. You got the got the Kunkka Clockwork there, dude. Too, this so. set's so good. Easily the best Clockwork set. This thing is so sick. I love it. I like this little, the little. All right, the people can't hear Yamson very well. Apparently, uh, I'm yeah, gonna sorry. To, to go ahead and fix that. Uh, Jerry, please get on that one. Yeah, I'm sure it matters now. You know, <laughs> the draft is over. <laughs> the draft is over. <laughs> Let me tell you, man was a genius. You just heard the knowledge bombs he was dropping. If you could hear him anyway. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. Game four, Evil Geniuses versus TSM. The grand finals, of course. TSM looking to close this series out, but uh, see if the last pick bounty hunter is actually going to do it. Thoughts? Who do you guys think's got it based on draft? Uh, I think I think EG have it actually. You don't have any confidence in the safe lane bounty hunter. No confidence. Let's see. Whisper, Timber saw too powerful. I am. Uh, you know what? I do have confidence in the safe lane bounty hunter. I think uh, Tomato is gonna pop off when he gets a chance to be creative. Let's go. All right. It feels good to be this. Ricky. Way. It feels good. To be uh, this sorry. Way. I'm I'm yelling at Jerry to get things going. Uh. I like the safe lane bounty, actually. I really like the safe lane bounty. Um, this is something that, like, I feel has been creeping up. This hero's been getting so many buffs over so many patches, and it's... If it can't win, like, in a, in a lane anymore, like, I don't know. I have to believe in the safe lane bounty. I'm just curious what the item build is going to be, because typically it's been, like, you know, Ags and Octarine and, like, you know, just super annoying stuff where you just steal gold from the enemy team and you're just spamming shurikens, but I don't know if that changes from the safe lane. Like, if you go for, like, Deso burst and build. Look at, look at how they're laning, too. Whisper's gonna go bottom. So, they're not even gonna lane the bounty against the timber. We'll see if the bounty decides to follow, but it looks like uh, EG are setting up for the dodge, so... I mean, it makes sense, right? If you can, like, double melee lane into the Bounty Hunter is going to be super rough to play against. Yeah, and Luna, I mean, they might even try lane with the Luna. Luna's great in try lane. It's a really yeah. good try lane here. And Bounty Hunter is probably not good in try lane. So not I have to at imagine. all. Not at so, all. Um, probably rough out there. Yeah. Oh, but you guys saw the uh, the attack speed slow change of the Bounty Hunter, right? Yeah. The yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know. I don't think that really matters all that much, <laughs> to be honest. I think it's neat. Yeah, yeah neat. Very well played. <laughs> not useful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not useful. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, oh, look at that. Motto. Matthew's baiting him. He's like, "Yeah, follow me to the top lane." Well, yes. gold. I mean, he might lose twenty-four gold here. That's big gains for Tomato right away. But yeah, with these lane rotations, they're gonna finally see Whisper bottom and. uh yeah, he throws the voice like, like late. what's up, buddy? Yeah. So, I'm curious to see if Tomato will try to swap at some point. Maybe he dies. Maybe Timbersaw dies. That's the way they can secure a swap. Tomato already being thrown back, though. I mean, that's a pretty nasty lane. Marcy and Luna, pretty strong. And Panda is completely stopping Ari from entering the lane as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just can't fight up in this clock. You get, like, battery assaulted with a low MS hero like Crystal Maiden. You take a lot of auto attack damage as well. I mean, they've denied the entire wave so far on EG. Like, 
They have all of them. Just constant. Yeah. Oh god, I feel so bad. Yeah. We'll finally oh, grab one, but again. Tomato just gonna keep taking harass. I mean, they're actually just gonna play out the lane, and they're like, maybe we they can kill the timber saw, but he just went reactive armor one. They don't have the amount of burst damage to deal with them until level two at best. Yeah. We'll be keeping watch on this mid lane though. Like I said, I think this matchup is very 50-50, but it can be very volatile, right? If this TA gets hit by one too many stuns or the Lina gets hit by one too many side blades, it's both people are going to be playing low and actually taking the trades in this matchup. You know, the TA will hit the Lina with the side blades and the Lina will constantly click the TA as well. So. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, he's just going to max out Dragon Slave uh, from here on out, uh, like three, four, five? Yeah, some people go two points in the Fiery Soul because it gives you a lot more attack speed and you, you know, it's actually a ton more attack. It's like 70 attack speed per level. So mm -hmm. sometimes they'll go two points in Fiery Soul, but generally just max out Dragon Slave for nuking out the wave and farming. Yeah, you just want to be able to move into the... Or jump up on Ari though, top lane, maybe a first blood. Yeah, absolutely. It gets super low and they got him. The tri lane with the Luna paying off already as Picaz is the one that grabs the first blood for the Luna. So that's going to be super sick. So you get nine and six on the top of the CS charts. Yeah, uh, down at the bottom lane, you mentioned that uh, one of the best counters in the early game to the Timber Saw is just Mana Burn on uh, Nick Assassin. He actually opted to go Spike, Carapist, and Impale. So, yeah, I no mean, Mana Burn of these early levels. No mana Burn. Mana Burn also is a really good scaling spell. Like, you know, not only does it scale well with levels, but it scales well into the enemy as they get more intelligence and more mana. Mm -hmm. So, um, probably won't be a big deal until later. I think in this lane, they're just going to try to farm. I'm curious if the Nyx is going to roam on mid. I think the best thing for the Nyx to do is to just try to go mess with the Lina's game and secure the TA's game. If you can get TA in an early six, then she's going to be able to trap both the runes. She's going to be able to put traps all along maybe her jungle or the enemy jungle. And then from there, the TA can start flash farming and actually put pressure on the map when the Lina walks over the traps. Because that's the scary part for the Lina. Lina's going to... Um, you hit level six and then maybe not actually have pressure on the TA, whereas the TA is going to hit level six and all of a sudden the Lina can die to traps or die to a rotation or, uh, or you know, very easily. Yeah, or your, your movements around the map just fail because they see you coming every single time. Yeah, exactly. Time. You walk up a cliff and there's just a trap there and then, you know, maybe they set up on you or, you know, they, they make a counter move, which mm -hmm. um, especially a squishy hero like Lina doesn't like to play into. Yeah. They don't have great ways of getting on top of Lina at the beginning of this one, though. It's basically just Nyx Assassin. Yeah, um, I mean, but bounty. I mean, bounty hunter will kind of do it as well to some extent, right? One yeah. There and Once he's got track, he has enough movement speed to get. Really, they really are betting on the bounty hunter, like kind of popping off this game, and he is yeah. kind of having a rough start. Only two CS right now compared to the nine and six on Luna. And it's what can not you do? Better. Yeah, what can you do? I mean, lucky you really. This has been. I mean, this is kind of a pattern too, because uh, I mean, in last game, Tomato had another hard lane. He was Slark versus Timber Saw. He didn't get a lot of help. He had a solo and just stand there. I mean, even in the Ricky game, too, it seems like Tomato's kind of getting shafted in the lanes. And then his team is playing to come back and, you know, okay, let him find a way in the t into the game through kills. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it's looking rough for TSM right from the get-go, the way the lanes are set up. So really good lanes from EG. Yep. They're actually just going to try lane bottom. Are they going to be able to kill this timber? That's the question, I mean, right? that's their goal, I guess. I don't know how, like... Ari trying to hide in the trees. Like, maybe they can get the setup off of the stun. Cookie on forward. The chain stun to follow. There's the roots. Okay. They can, it seems like. I got him. They did more than enough damage. They didn't impale they were sitting on as well. They dropped after he died. So, very easy right. to pick that one up. So now the question is, I mean, what does Tomato do? Because he's level two. He's getting completely zoned off the waves. Does he go bottom? Does he follow the timber saw? Because... I mean, can he even win the matchup? He's a level behind. The I mean, they force the Timbers TP. He can go bottom now. That's the thing, yeah, right? I mean, he could. I mean, that's the, yeah. I mean, that is the thing. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, bottom, yeah. Right? I was like, okay. you see the Timber TP to lane, and then you go there on the bounty. That's exactly what he needs to do. So now they get the lane matchup. So that's the whole point: is that if they kill the Timber, they can get the lane matchup they want. So that's actually yeah. really freaking smart. Um, now we see the next assassin mapping on mid as well, getting involved in a fight with uh, Marcy. Um, C Smile is really low here, kind of getting pressured. The mid lane is pretty even up until this point, but um, Lina definitely having some bombs on the region side of things right now. Does get salved up by Panda, so um, good for him. For tipping <laughs> Tomato here, realizing what's happened. Yeah. 
Uh, Man's at a definite. Pause. Yeah, four minutes. Hero's rotating in for uh, the power runes, and Matthew's gonna get tossed back. And Panda, ooh, can't quite get on top. Oh. He turned around for half a second there. I think he thought he wasn't gonna get him. Yeah, definitely could have connected as a kill right there. But uh, there's else that landed. But and now Picaz is actually getting zoned off top lane by Kasane. So yeah, now the instant TP in from Panda, he realizes what's happening. Wants to help cause uh, secure free farm here. Yeah, you don't want to get gone on by uh, the clockwork is uh, the snap fire. It's very easy for him to run you down. I mean, you can't get out of the cog with the cookie, but he can just like walk at you basically and yeah. continue to catch up with you even if you cookie out. As long as he doesn't cog himself and uh, you know, grief his own game. Yeah. Um, it looks like the bottom lane is pretty stagnant as well. Whisper is actually getting zoned, so the bounty hunter kind of doing work right now despite the level disadvantage. Um, good for him. Yeah, this is what TSM needs more than anything to try and stabilize these side lanes, right? Like, they're getting so much free farm on this Luna that, like, Pakaz is just going to be so far oh, ahead in no. flash farming into the mid game. But Tomato, going to chase down Matthew here. He doesn't have the, the ability to continue the chase, but getting some gold his way, getting some CS, it, it's still not easy, though. Yeah, I, I will say I'm impressed by how much damage this Timber Saw is taking from these Janatas. Um, not only stealing gold, but really actually putting the pressure onto this Timber Saw. I'm surprised exactly he went a point in Shadow do. Walk there. It's a uh, very good slow at level 1. 16% movement speed slow just for a single oh, level. Oh, Ari just oh. snipes Matthew. Wow, okay. That had to do like max damage, actually. 97? Dude, I think he literally had... Wow, that was very close. So now we see TA hit six and control the power rooms. Um, C Smile, not level six yet, will be now. Oh, but... the cancel on the timber Can chain. That was sick, chicken. bottom. Whisper. Gets the... Can he get the kill? He needs the, oh, the vision for oh. the shuriken toss, but he's got the bonus move speed. Whisper's still surviving on just a sliver of HP. Meanwhile, Ari going to try and chase down Matthew into the trees. Whisper will be the one that grabs it. Collects. Uh, yeah, like, Tomato can't follow him into there. He's gonna have so much bonus damage to him with all the trees around him if he hits him with a whirling death. Tomato just needs to get to level to level five. Like once he has the third point in his uh Janata, I'm assuming he goes third point in Janata, but we'll see. Yeah, he's gonna hit Whisper when he doesn't have the reactive armor stacks up, and then it does a lot. But I mean just look at the net worth right now, by the way. Pakaz is enormous. Ooh. Oh good stun by Matthew. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, Matthew's keeping him up here for sure. Uh, oh, he's moved over to the jungle and not has the, the arcane rune. I mean, he does control up the runes right now, like you mentioned. Z Smile, I think he's now going to start to fall further behind the Templar Assassin. Yeah, this is where the traps come into play, right? Being able to uh, trap in the side blades, all that good stuff, get tons of damage. Um, although, nice. I mean, nice to nice by Bryle there. Mm -hmm. um, Tomato level 5 as well, starting to have pressure on Timber. I mean, we see Whisper walking to base. This is not the start he had last game. Um, definitely getting pressured. I mean, look at his net worth, too. He's very poor in this game. I mean, that's what happened to keep on getting robbed by the bounty yeah. hunter. <laughs> I, will, I will say, Pekaz, 4k net worth, and generally, uh, Pekaz does really well with these big games. Holy shit, he's like a thousand, what is that, thousand ahead of him? Dude, look at his else. CS. He's 54 CS and 26 denies. Yeah. Yeah. Doing really well Went here. With three so, point I mean, lunar blessing as well. So global, you know, 20 damage for his whole team. Yeah, it helps yeah. Lena a lot during the night, especially with their fiery soul stacks. He's only oh still got uh, the first point into it. I do like your, your points. I mean, you just like get double uh, what level one gives you at level two with fiery soul. So, yeah. I would like to see him put a second point to that for attack speed. Yeah, I imagine he does right away and then he'll max his light strike array. Mm -hmm. um, Whisper got level six. Tomato. Kind of baiting him out here a little bit, though. They have a, they have a lot of damage that can keep dumping into him. And they're playing around mid, trying to make something happen, but it doesn't look like it'll be anything. It's not going to be easy to get in there without the hook shot. The cause is going to start flash bombing, though. He's already rotated his way into the dual camp. He's going to rotate his way into the big jungle now. Just give up top Bottom? lane. Bottom, it looks like Matthew wants to commit onto Tomato. Tomato's got level yeah. 6. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have dust, though. You have to burst him right away. Yeah. Oh, oh Lightstrike Ray just barely catches on the side there, and C-Smile will pick him up thanks to the haste rune. 
Yep, they're gonna go. Oh, we try to go into Mondo there. I mean, his courier's got dust on it, but he committed his uh, rebound before it even gets there. Yeah, except the dust now. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say again though. I mean, this is a pretty ridiculous net worth by Picard. I mean, so five k in nine minutes now. Um, I mean, after the start he had, it's not that surprising. But he's got a possessed mask now, plus the dragon lance. He's just going to. Yeah, uh, gonna... dead. Oh yeah, dive under um, the tower there, Matthew. Yeah. Finally got him. It feels good to be in this now Ari TP's down, gonna try to stall the tower again. Meanwhile, so, top lane Panda just collecting. Do you think uh the bounty, like what is the skill build on the safe lane bounty? Or like the item build? Like he he's gotta do something, right? Or does he go more utility and you rely on just the damage from Bryle? I have no idea. I mean he's got Ring of Health Cute, that could be a hood, that could be a battle fury. I mean who knows? That could be just casual, that could be Vanguard. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's actually not a bad Vanguard yeah. game. Yeah, I mean, Vanguard's fine. I don't, I'm not really sure, though. Oh, Mortimer Kiss is instantly cancelled by C-Smile, but the cookie comes out. They're going to turn it around and just gets blown up there. Thanks to Bryle. So a nice exchange, actually, for the side of TSM. And Whisper is on the run. He's going to lose his courier. He's tracked, man. you got to start chaining yeah, away. Yeah, Matthew's going to get oh. tracked, actually. Yeah, Matthew, though. This is how uh, Tomato gets back damage. into the game. Like... He needs hey, these track dead. kills. Up a stick. I mean, all you're away. doing by running is losing more money to this Janata. <laughs> that baby is coming down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could have buried maybe, but uh, that's close. Uh, I mean, that just allows him to get another Janata. <laughs> yeah, no, more than another 30 gold down the drain. Right. Go ahead and run, it'll just let Bounty Hunter win more. <laughs> Those are the types oh. of like plays that like allow Bounty Hunter to kind of come back a little bit. He's gonna go for the Falcon Blade, it seems, after this casual ring of health to give him some mana regen to play with. But each of these track kills does give him a lot of gold. Yeah, it feels like ages since we've talked about the concept of track kills, What's man. Right? I don't know. This hero's been so out of the meta for so long. Oh, especially yeah. this track. They found the Sapphire. Nice cancel on the cookie there. But. Yeah, Picard's just doing way too much damage already. Sidekick helps quite a bit. 6,200 net worth already on the Luna. There's smoke across mid. They're looking for C-Smile. They see him. I think they're going to get him. Maybe? Panda going to walk into them with the smoke, though. Really good. Oh, Impale. They'll just settle for the clockwork, potentially. Yeah, nice LSA. Nice rebound onto two. And Whisper's here as well. Bryle trying to TP home. He's going to make it. All right, nice heads up play. Yeah, that was a very quick reaction. Don't look Ari's like, I gotta do the same. No rebound. Yeah, still on cooldown. All right, two You're really good TP outs. Yeah, Top lane, Kasane, yeah. Cookie. Plus Tomato coming in with the track. They've got Mortimer Kisses. You can't run away. He knows it too. <laughs> but it's just gonna allow Tomato to chase him down. Eventually, he'll grab him. Mortimer Kisses even commit. Oh, oh no. I mean, play there. That was such an important kill. You didn't want it to get away, but definitely a misplay. A little bit of an overextension there by Picaz, and that'll definitely slow him down. I think that's a, a lot, lot of gold too. This game, so. so he needs his Manta. If he can get to his Manta, it'll be really easy for him to actually kill the TA. It'll be really easy for him to disengage the Bounty Hunter, disengage the Frostbite. So, um, you know, every second that he's slowed down, pretty big, especially when this TA is farming it up. Um, no, almost, almost the desolator. same network. Yeah. Has the death, is. Though, actually. Yeah, it's done. Wow, that is. All right. Probably going to carry the game from here, Sammy. Maybe. Tomato may be in some trouble, though. Oh, oh nice oh, sidestep. He's got a track go that he can throw anyway. out, but. This isn't the Brawl show, it's the Whisper show. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I'm Man's surprised he didn't throw a track at all. Yeah. Get the bonus move speed and try and run, but. Yeah. Ari up on, on the high ground. Matthew, though, probably in some trouble here. Yeah. Dead. Nice rotation over from Bryle. Quick meld strike to finish him off. He plus tried two to get the. the yeah. Oh, yeah, plus two on the Destiny, you're right. He tried to get the D ward, but not going to find it. Yeah. Meanwhile, like top lane. Vendetta Force as Panda's here on the clockwork, scouting for his next target. Somehow, Bryle has caught up to the Luna. After yeah, just because that there. one death. Yeah, that one death cost him a lot, actually, on the Luna. He would have farmed almost 800 gold, I think, in the time he was dead. He would have farmed the whole tri-camp. He would have farmed the lane. Um, same thing that Bryle did, basically. So gains, you know, 
nearly, maybe not 800, but close to it, like six to 700 net worth in that span. So big for him. Um, you know, obviously it's still a good matchup for Luna. I think scaling. And I would honestly say the scaling favors EG. I think Timberstar is a menace late game. They have Lina and Luna, so double core as well, like double range core. Um, so I think for TSM, they need to put the tempo on the game. They need the TA to get active with Blink Dagger. It seems similar to the less track game to me, where they might not outscale, but a lot is riding on Bryle's shoulders to make plays happen when he gets his items. Because he is going to be a really strong hero in this game. He's going to be able to kill the Lina, kill the Timbersaw maybe, uh, maybe even kill the Luna. So uh, really a lot on his shoulders again this game to make something happen. And Tomato really just needs to exist. He's going uh, BKB rush after the Ring of Hell, which I like. I think you really need BKB in this game, but, you know, he's definitely going to be poor. And now C-Smile. Oh, they're looking at him in the area. Yeah. I mean, Tomato compressing a BKB will just allow him to put... Uh, or f focus, uh, you get EG to put the pressure onto him rather than the Templar Assassin, which is like being disruptive in the team fights without getting blown up. Yeah. I'm surprised Tomato's not just throwing these tracks out. Like, every, like he's got so much mana regen from CM and uh, his Falcon, Falcon Blade, Blade that, like, I feel like anytime he sees these throws, he should be throwing the tracks, but. If you're a fan of yeah. top tower, there is a BKB picked up on Lina now, so maybe we'll see a smoke out by EG with the BKB, look to make a move. Look to uh, maybe open up this top side. Um, top tower is pretty low, only 600, but you know, turns out TSM going to be making the move first. They have mech, they have Mortimers, I think they have Guardian Greaves on Courier. Yep, they do. Wow. So, that is a super fast well, Guardian Greaves. The biggest thing. Yeah, Ooh, Pekaz pops the smoke. They see Moon now. Gets this. Oh, he actually gets this by Carapace. Going to stun up quite a few. Here's the cookie on Ford. No way. They turn it around. Nice see smile. BKB comes through. Clockwork on the backside. Traps two oh, inside the cogs. Ari with the freezing field. Trying to keep them alive. But the damage from C smile just way too much as he just brings them down one by one. Bryle gets the blink out up onto the high ground, but a three for zero very quickly. As Tomato. They got vision on you, son. Uh oh. Uh, it looks like he might, it's going to be hard to actually yeah, catch he's out. Bounty Hunter. He's quite fast. Yeah, he's out. Brawl couldn't find an angle in there, but I think the power cog just like way too clutch. Yeah, that cogs yeah. was perfect. Mm -hmm. Got That's a lot of people. The power of BKB, though, in this game. You know, once the BKBs are out, Snapfire does nothing, CM does nothing, um, Nyx does nothing too. So it's really reliant on the Bounty Hunter being able to DPS, and the cogs are a really good way to stall them out. Stop him from walking forward. Um, we see Luna also queuing up a BKB, kind of realizing, okay, if they snap ult and I BKB, you know, we're gonna win the fight. We're gonna be able to fight them. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have enough HP to actually fight through the TA and the bounty hunter. They like mm -hmm. as well. So, um, yeah, I think it's gonna get harder for TSM to execute the longer this goes. Uh, maybe they can try to make a play for Roche. They still have their top tower. They have the vision advantage with bounty hunter and Nyx assassin and TA traps. So. Hopefully they can maybe get a Roche in the next five minutes and use that to turn the TA into something more. Push him forward on the map. Do you want to take a Roche right now before you have like BKB up on the, the Bounty Hunter or the, the Templar Assassin though? I'm, I'm imagining the way it happens isn't just like a full team fight. Like maybe mm -hmm. they're going to be able to spread EG out a little bit. Someone will go bottom. Someone will show top. They're going to be able to use the Nyx to maybe get a pick on whoever shows top or whoever goes to the tri camp. And then once you get the pick, then you could look for the Roche. I mean, they might not even have damage, so that might be a problem. It's kind of unusual to have this Bounty Hunter. I don't... I guess Bounty Hunter doesn't they, really do damage to Roche, but... You kind of got damage when you got uh, the Desso and the Templar Assassin. You got four points in a meld already as well. Yeah, the Janata will help do a lot of damage as well. It's just, uh, you know, interesting. Um, and, you know... EG might also just make the move first because they are, I think. C smile, top game. lane. Oh, he oh, got no, on the spike BKB. carapace. Ooh, oh, doesn't connect on the stun though. Tomato's here. He's I mean, though. yeah, they got him. They brought the numbers this time, and that's going to be enough. That's a big kill. A lot of gold going the way of TSM there. And C smile now yeah. on the deck. They're going to push forward too. They're going to take this top tier one. They're going to try to secure some sort of info around Roshan. So Dude, that one kill is over a thousand gold. Yeah, I mean, Luna is incredibly farmed. Top tower has and that's only level one track, dude. Level two track scales up so fast. Well, there's your kill around the Roche pit, but the yeah. Roche yeah. actually go into it and commit. They're going to look. Uh, Moon, Moon going to get caught. Actually gets caught by the Ooh. battery assault. Can't hit the impale. Whisper's here trying to do what damage he can. He's going to finish off Moon, but 
It might cost him his own life. Nice hook shot from Panda, but it's not enough to save him. Big freezing field from Ari zoning off Matthew as Clockwork's been found. The track's coming through. Bryle gets the kill onto another. They do manage to turn this around round onto Kasane as C Smile finally showing up here on the Lina. So a two for two, but these types of trades, man, they always favor the bounty. That's true. And that was exactly what uh, TSM honestly was looking for. They're able to take top tower. They're able to take some sort of skirmish around Roche. And you know, obviously it doesn't go fully the way they want it, but if that had gone a little oh, better... Matthew. Just, oh, Matthew! Oh, Matthew! That's a track Ooh, kill a plus the side blade yeah. kill. That's stylish. Yeah, it was the deny too, so we got the double value. <laughs> <laughs> just padding the stats. The big deny. The question mark is you yeah. go down. That's filthy. That's mental damage right there. Yeah. Well, we see that Timbers are keeping in. He's on a trap, though. So, with that one, quick little pickup for them. They're looking at the Roche as well on EG. They have these things. Ooh, whisper? Uh, I mean, oh. whispers in. It's going to go for more. It'd be kind of risky, but... Uh, it's up I mean, onto yeah, the high ground. Can. Spike curve is there, but they've caught the Snapfire with Panda. Nice crab from him. TP's coming through here from the bounty. Huge damage coming through from Kaz as well, so... They get two. He might be able to Roche now, too, yeah. so... I think they absolutely can, right? Like... Yeah, they're in. Sea Smile just picked up the Brigand's Blade. Let's see if TSM want to contest with no snap ulti. I think it's impossible, so yeah, I'm gonna this let it go. Yeah, Luna, Luna, Luna Blessing. And Sidekick. Oh, Whisper takes the Aegis. Wait, what? No, Picasso. Oh, wait, what the heck? That was weird. For some reason on my screen, I, it, I was like clicking around. Oh, meanwhile, the Brile though caught. Yeah, nice pullback. Good find from Matthew and... Okay, I was like, they've got detection, <laughs> nice <try>. right? <laughs> good try, good try. This will come in handy. Now, GG, commanding position. Have the Aegis, pushing forward, looking for Ari as well. He's just gonna TP on out. Ooh, hook shot, dude. Panda's got it. Good find, sir. Panda. Yeah, it's your commanding uh, position that you're talking about. And it's to be like, uh, you know, back to back deaths here. They just control up the map now. Uh, I'm sure they're happy to like run at them again. Yeah, he's pinging them out right now on Marcy. So you smile yeah. doesn't have enough mana to be able to commit for a kill though. And it, I mean, they have BKB on Bounty Hunter, but there's no way they can fight. And this is where this Bounty Hunter really feels useless to me because I mean, you're not even the one pushing the fight to the enemy, right? You're the ones who are kind of getting uh, pushed upon. And I don't think that's a position Bounty Hunter ever really wants to play in. Kind of a hero that wants to play from ahead. So. Gonna kind of struggle to find a place in this game, I think. He is going back for the Vanguard as well, so... Yeah, um, it is a great Vanguard game, but again, yeah. like, it's... It's really bizarre because this is... They just didn't get the lane that they, they wanted to start with, and it just put Bacaz so far ahead. Meanwhile, top lane, Timbersaw is so yeah, far whisper, forward. into trouble. Dude, Mortimer kisses as well. Dude, they don't even need him. The damage from uh, the, uh... Yeah. From the TA into the Vendetta, that was a lot. Uh. Whisper getting a bit too aggressive this game, I would say. Um, he probably, you know, last game he was unkillable. In this game, uh, definitely finding picks onto him. And now, in another smoke, Moonmander leading the charge. Um, you see, he's drawing a lot on the map, trying to get his team um, into action. So it is a really good Nyx Assassin game. Here. Like he's he's able to find yeah. a lot of like Spike Carabas plays. They're gonna find Matthew here. Bryle should they be able to done. close the gap pretty easily. Yeah, Cookie's on forward gets that one. Moonmander still looking forward. Uh, Panda the hook here. actually just cancels his TP. Moon gonna try and escape. He's got a spike Carapace to play with, and that will stun up the clockwork for now. And four more heroes coming in. Double nice stun. double stun. Tomato pops the BKB, but he's just getting beat down by C Smile. Pakaz returns with his own, and now in comes Whisper trying to get on top of Kasane. They've got the kill. TSM thought they had the number advantage, but it didn't matter. Yeah. A little, bit really that, yeah, a little bit late on that yeah a little bit on that bkb on uh, tomato there he took a lot and just got blown up and zoned yeah. out by the lena i don't really uh, think you want to oh, into them they there, got but... his aegis got baited with the uh, uh spike carapace and ari now with the freezing field panda's trying to get in range it's gonna be c smile to finally cancel it but if they could bring down pakaz twice it'd be nice he turns around with the eclipse bounty hunter now on the run i don't know if he's gonna be able to escape well he's just super fast oh, never mind man. Hook shot in Matthew's five. gonna keep looking. Yeah, they're gonna look for the hook. The dust is about to expire. Again. They got a sentry. They've got sentries. Yeah, they got. Oh, side dot oh, sidesteps in for a moment, sentry, but though. yeah, he's super dead. It's just a matter of time. 
And so get the tower <laughs> off the glaive. Yeah. <laughs> he juked, oh, okay. man, bites him about a little bit of time, but yeah, eventually goes down. Look pretty good for TSM for a little bit, but yeah, just not enough damage coming through. This Nyx is kind of doing work. I mean, every fight starts with a carapace on the Luna. When she hits someone, you know, she glaives. It hits the Nyx, the Nyx carapaces, and she's getting un, you know, stunned out of nowhere, not BKBing, all that stuff. So, um, they really need to fight in a way where it's very pokey on TSM. You know, they poke the Luna, then they reset, then they kite out, and they use the Bounty Hunter, poke again, kill another target. Whereas, um, EG kind of have the simpler execution, going to just be looking for the 5v5, trying to force the issue. Um, you know, jump all the way in and just commit on some hero, blow them up. Uh, and surprisingly, Picasso actually doesn't go for the BKB. He goes for the Eye of Scotty is his next item. Uh, he already has, oh, yeah, the has the BKB. Oh. Alright, I'm blind. Uh, you know, best of five. Best it's of five. five. What can you yeah. do? It's a long day for Def here, you know? In his yeah. old age. We got... Tomato's going for Aegidim Scepter as his next item. I guess he's realized oh. that he can't really fight directly into them at this point. So Shiva's he's, he's, he's spamming shurikens. See, Smile just rushed the Shivas for himself. Oh, wow, he really does have a Shivas. I mean, it's a great game to have armor, so... Moon Meander snipes a uh, oh, Haste Rune, but they get the stun on Tomato, and... Yeah, no chance he's getting out of this one. DD Rune makes quick work of him. Hookshot comes oh, through. No hookers. way! Panda's got Bryle inside the cogs. Nowhere to go. They burst down two cores. Panda is owning this game. That was actually pretty massive. At this point, yeah, he just buys out a Hurricane Pike immediately after that one. <laughs> yeah. Needs to get out of the cog. No BKB on him. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he hadn't had one completed yet. I mean, it was only a matter of time before he gets singled out by the clockwork. Positioning up until that point. He, went, he, he, went, he greeted out for the Chrysalis is what it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't blame him. It definitely feels like a game where if he doesn't do a lot of damage, they're going to just lose. So not kind of unsurprising i guess straight for the chrysalis but up onto the high nice ground there. against luna lena good luck dude these yeah, buildings just nah. get crushed there's gonna be a scotty completed on for cause here and now the mortimer drop the cause just, just bkb says screw it trying to bring down the melee barracks first tracks are coming through but and they actually find themselves a kill. There's no BK. Oh, they do have all their BKBs and see smiles getting ready to go aggressive tomato helps find that first kill see smile able to back away but again they got what they wanted. The melee barracks is down just 25 minutes into the game. Yeah, and now EG completely out. Sean out, Pandas out as well. Dude, full retreat from EG. Yeah. One rack isn't impossible to recover from at this point, though. I mean, Luna does play for the early. The majority of your team on the side of uh, EG plays for the early game. I think the later this goes, the better off the TA is going to be. But it does make it a lot harder with that first rack taken. Yeah, I mean, Bounty Hunter, though, Neff. Like, does Bounty nah. Hunter scale? Like, the, this is your carry, Bounty Hunter? Yeah. Carry? I mean, I will this say... This guy's going to scale. Ag's Octarine Bounty does a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, if, is, if you can get, like, two or three tracks off in fights and you're just throwing shurikens, like, once you have the Janata, uh, like, Gold Steel... Like, it, it's right, pretty let's, let's be honest, that's a little bit of a cope, okay? Like, he's going for eggs because he can't touch them. No, I mean, that's what you always do. Like, you always go eggs on core bounty. I feel like it's the only play. Oh, oh Hookshot's found Bryle once ball. again. He's got the four staff this time to try and get away. Are in the backside. Nice freezing field, but it's gonna get canceled there by Pekaz. They need to get out and fast. Bryle just blows up the clockwork. Ari's still trying to retreat, but a nice Shiva's guard there. Doing some work. Chase forward for Matthew. They've got Moon as well. Four Tomato, he's just throwing out the tracks, but the team, it's not there. He doesn't have the Ags yet. He has no damage. He might go in here. He's got his and BKB the off the of cooldown. They're looking for Matthew. I mean, the Shuriken's gonna bounce, do some damage. Mortimer Kisses are coming through. They've got vision on everyone, but can they actually find the kills? Tomato's gotta be the one if you're in the to stop this. Mile. Oh, yeah, he can't DP. Let's, I'm saying, look at the, look at the Shuriken's bouncing, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's doing some pretty sad damage, I'm gonna be honest with you. He doesn't have the Ags yet, that's ag. what I'm saying. Once yeah. you have the Ags, it applies Janata on the sh on the Shuriken. So I mean, there's EG. smoke, but you can still see their relative location. Uh, oh, the cookie connects. Oh, they got, they got the Lina. He didn't BKB. Tomato chasing now. He's going to keep going. Oh, boy. 
That's I mean, you go a lot too of far gold. forward in I mean, front of the rest is. of your team. Hey, it's a it, it's it's getting thrown back and forth. Can Tabata survive? He barely they does. They don't have the detection, and Pakaz, he's looking for his target, but the hookshots managed to find Bryl. He's got a four staff down to the low ground. He needs help and fast. Kasane's got, got a cookie. Got to give him some space. Tomato just providing vision with these tracks. Bryle now turns it around onto Whisper. Do they have the damage? The side blade doesn't connect, but they finally managed to punish this bounty hunter. Sentries placed all over the place. Is now Ari needs to be careful. Pakaz is looking for him. He's going to be able to burst him off to the side. The cookie to try and get him away, but it's not enough. Bryle now needs to disengage. This Pakaz is just a little bit too strong. Yep. Yeah. Whisper on the other side. He saw the tracks on him, so he like uh, faked a TP, forced a Tempo Assassin to turn around, and he canceled it. I mean, but... it's not over for for TSM. I'll say that much. This Timber saw dies in like two TA hits. Yeah, if he can get on top of him. No armor. Going. I mean, he. I mean, look at his build. He has you know BKB, Sanj Kaya, and going Ags. So no plate mail, no Lotus Orb in sight. Um, is killable, but I mean this Roche, uh, gonna be Aegis for. They've got a they've got a trap in there. They see this. They the smoke staff. up. But they're not even going. They're going for. Oh, they're going for C Smile line. bottom. They're just they're guessing he's somewhere around here. Radiant scanning. Yes, BKB, oh my gosh. Be able to read the play. <laughs> Dude, oh. what a sick counter rotation, but see smile Can he get the kill? He's one more auto attack. He does. The spike carapace stops Whisper from coming in as well. They're looking for the hookshot targets. Panda does not connect. Oh, so Bryle close. able to dodge it out. Blink in one. Oh, oh, Ogre Totem oh, and the Trap at the same time. Dude, he just kills him. Oh, Whisper's shot. dead. He gets the track gold as well. Now looking for Matthew. The blink forward. They get the second track. They're just going to bleed hero after hero. Triple <laughs> kill for Bryle on the TA. Oh my god. No BKB needed. Bryle. They say, they, they, you know, they say, you know, give him Roche, but they get three kills in response. The gold lead is gone. That is yeah. an insane call to make. I mean, they... How did they know that Selena was over there? They, they saw him clear the wave, Selena I think. Like not hitting Roche. Yeah, they saw yeah. him clear the wave and they say, well, he's not at Roche. Let's go well, get him or whatever. We'll find him in the jungle. They let him yeah. take Roche and we'll get their entire team. So now your Aegis advantage barely matters because you've evened out the net worth immediately after that. That is so sick. Oh my god. Tomato's going AC instead of the Axe. There's a great ward Boom. for TSM as well. Just looking at Cause and Panda here. I hate this. I want the Axe bounty hunter. I hate this AC. Well, you've got eggs at Snapfire now. That's true. All right. You've got eggs at home. I mean, they're just all in on the minus armor, I suppose. That's the idea, right? Bryle, TA with Deso. They're going to go AC on the bounty hunter. I mean, both teams kind of itemizing for armor. Everyone except Whisper, who's carrying up a halberd now. Thought better of the eggs, but uh, there's a solar on Matthew. T Smile is also going for an AC. So lots of armor items being purchased up on both teams. There's a Vlad's as well on Panda. So Whisper is gonna disassemble his uh, Sanj into a halberd. It looks like he's kind of done dealing with the TA. Yeah, he's had enough of getting one shot. I mean, he still needs some armor. It looks like, but uh, gonna get there. <laughs> now Bryle does have a full BKB completed though. So really big for him. Yeah, that's huge. That could be the game-winning item if he can find a way to DPS the Timber and the Lina. Pakaz has his Scotty, 2k two gold, two gold as well in the bank. What is Pakaz looking for next? Is it like Silver Edge? Is he going for like Deso? I, I mean, he could go Butterfly. Yeah, Butterfly gets queued up Butterfly? Right okay. Yeah. I mean, it's great versus TA because uh, TA has no um, evasion. You know, she has a Daedalus, not an MKB, and she won't get an evasion clear item forever. Like, never. Unless she replaces her Daedalus, so um, it's a good way to itemize and force the TA's hand to change her itemization, maybe, or punish her for buying the Daedalus. Hmm. Man, they've just gotten all in and trying to shut down this Templar Assassin's uh, game now, especially after those last couple of plays. I mean, Heaven's Halberd uh, completed, uh, Wraith Pack Totem. I mean, the only thing that does is reduce physical damage, so it'll slow down the damage that TA is able to do in these team fights. Yeah, and, Lina uh, has AC. Assault, right assault Chief. <laughs> so much armor. Okay. Dude, how much armor does he have? Yes. Is it bugged? It only, yeah, it, it, it only, doesn't have the 10 bonus armor. Bugged. So he has 25 bonus. Uh, 30 bonus. I'm, 
Should I, have more than that. He should have at least 25 just from AC Shiva without the aura. That's what I'm saying. He has 25 bonus armor, right? Oh, I see. What are you guys yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 30 from these two items. Plus the AC. Yeah, so he has... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's just... It's not showing any of the armor from the AC. Yeah, like... I mean, he has stats, too. So, like, he should have, like, that 11 armor just from the stats. So... Yeah. And he actually has, like, 45 armor, it looks like. Or 40 armor. Close to Yeah. It. Man's damage reduction is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, more because of Vlad's and this is kind of why I don't like the AC on the bounty. I feel like they can't just all in physical damage on uh, the side of TSM, but they're gonna try. Is yeah. high ground attempt, but cause just trying to chip this away. Forty seconds left on this Aegis. Uh, nice blink reveal there from Moon into the Mortimer kisses. That gonna get actually hook shot's gonna get tanked by Bryle, so. Kasane actually still alive. They turn around, they blow up the clockwork, and Tomato just goes in aggressively onto the Marcy. They're gonna be able to take down the first life of that Luna, but BKB's expended. They're gonna have to back away, and with C Smile, Pakaz up onto the high ground, they just instantly melt that range barracks. Pakaz still has his BKB available, but EG are gonna respect it for now. They will back away. I think. This Mina was fighting up directly against the TA, and it looked like the TA was just poking her. This armor really is doing a lot in this game. Um, it's, yeah. There's going to be a smoke by TSM now. Yep. So we're going to be looking for the fight right away. They know these BKBs are still on cooldown. There's 30 seconds on the BKBs when the fight connects. For the Lina, Timber, oh, Timber and Luna both still have BKBs, so they really need to find the Lina in this fight. But she yeah, also has a DD it. rune bottled, so they're looking to fight themselves. They do have the trap up on the high ground. Luna. They've got Pakaz. The stun actually doesn't connect. He turns around right away on the Eclipse. He's laying into Brow the Force after the low ground. Tomato needs to get out as well, but the chase continues. They melt too. Tomato's courier died with the AC completed. Oh no. They're looking for more. Looking for Kasane. He's going to try and TP on home, but canceled there by the Lucent Beam. Double kill now for Pakaz. They might have a problem. They could get thrown. I mean, there's no buyback on the Snapfire, and they're going to force buyback on the TA at least. So they're probably going to lose top racks and then maybe have their throne threatened here. Really bad position for TSM now. Um, obviously, just not the way they want that smoke to break. You know, you, your smoke breaks. It's on Luna. She has BKB. She instantly presses it. She has a fresh butterfly. Just, yeah, and they're going for him because immediately pings it going right away. Lena went to push out the bottom lane so she couldn't be there, but she's got a double damage room bottled. Like, as soon as she's there, this throne is going to melt. Now there's the TA what if I still on cooldown? They're going to respect the TA buy. They're going to try that reset. They got no she's BKB on Pokaz. I mean, if they get it, it's huge. He's got the blink stun, connects onto two, but he needs help from the follow-up. It's going to be C-Smile with the BKB and the DD just laying into Tomato, and he is trapped in the cogs. He can't go anywhere. Moon goes down. That's going to be... Almost GG curtains here. Nah, GG. Yeah, they don't even try to fight. They realize it's over. Uh, I mean, the trial almost bring you back to the sick team fight, but uh, SG, SG, they managed to catch them a couple of times. And We're going to game five, it. baby. Let's go. Yeah, game five. Uh, the Templar Assassin, I mean, he took a single death over in the mid lane, and uh, your game just felt so much harder all of a sudden. But it was easy for them to just like single out uh, one hero here, and their lineup played incredibly fast. Even though you shut down the Timbers are reasonably well this game, I still feel like Whisper did way too much. You might just have to ban this out. Yeah, this Timber saw definitely did work. I mean, he got shut down completely. He was 1.8k at, you know, uh, six minutes, but I mean, he still made this hero look really amazing. Whisper putting on a show. Because, too. I mean, great game from Because. Says mm -hmm. that one death top, I think. He only made like one big mistake in this game. I really want to see Bounty Hunter pause one work, but uh, maybe that just ain't it. I feel like Tomato should not play Invis Heroes. Ricky, Bounty Hunter, off the menu. <laughs> like, we're done. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the Ricky is, uh, like, more sussy than Bounty, in my opinion. That I think Bounty at least has, like, some potential, but... Uh, yeah, that game just didn't quite work out. It is like, honestly, Panda had some game-winning hookshots. The, the, grabbing the TA at the Tier 2 tower there mid actually completely broke Bryle's game. Like, he was he was snowballing super hard, but, you know, Pandavu, yeah. really sick hook shots, and uh, Pakaz just gave him the best game he could ever ask for. That was sick. 
Uh, agreed, agreed. It was. Uh, I'm glad that we're going to game number five here, though. This day would have been way too easy for TSM if they did a quick uh, 2-0 into 3-0 against EG. We might even see a reverse sweep here, man. It's yeah, possible. it could be a reverse sweep. Could be a reverse sweep, what? indeed. All right, we're going to go to the last final break of the evening, everyone. Stay tuned. It is game five of the grand finals, EG versus TSM. We will see you all in just a bit. <laughs> 